right guys, this is absolutely the scariest part of my job. I hate coming back here on the flight line because I'm always afraid I'm either gonna get in somebody's way or somehow cause an incident where somehow I'll get arrested. <laughs> but this is scary, dude. You gotta, you gotta drive right where those people are all the way around, find a parking spot and uh, get back here so you can work on these uh, uh, x-ray machines so uh, see if I can just create a short little video man this, this won't be a long video just kind of like a little short uh, it's gonna be a gas and go we already know that because it's uh, Saturday and they don't want us uh, <clears throat> doing too much more than gassing it and then doing a leak check during the week so we'll do a preliminary leak check and then that's about it but yeah man every time I come here it puts me in my nerves on edge man I, I don't like it at all so. so you know it's your on call weekend I know it's not much but it looks like shit and I don't like it so. all right just gonna grab some 422b salt bubbles leak detector and uh, we'll go in there all right so I just talked to the TSA guys and they're gonna shut off the conveyor belt to that extra machine back there somewhere so once they give me the go ahead we'll go and work on it Pretty much we're gonna do a quick gas and go, quick leak search. If it's something that can wait till weekdays, that's what we'll do. Alright guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but we're gonna add a little bit of juice. This thing's probably gonna take like a pound or less. That's enough for this thing to start flashing. So I'm gonna give it a couple squirts and then we'll we'll do a leak check. No squirts, that's it. See, it's trying to clear up already. I'm trying to. See right there. NU twenty two. getting there a couple more squirts and we'll be out of here No more.
that ladder. Dodge all these poles. <laughs> I hit myself on that one. It's like 94 degrees down here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Waited before, waited after. So we put about a pound and a few ounces. Just gonna build them a pound. Uh, those units don't take a whole lot, but uh, uh, like I said, man, we did a, a mediocre search. Just make sure it wasn't like a huge leak. But these units always have leaks, and we're always gassing them up. Um, we need to set up a time where we can come out here and shut the machine down and uh, do a proper leak search but most of the time this customer just says leave it so unfortunately that's what we got to do sometimes sometimes we just gotta leave it so all right gents like I said just a quick video uh, see you guys on the next one So yeah, gents, like I was saying, there's very little we could do at these spots, uh, especially on the weekends. They uh, they don't want us shutting down those x-ray machines. We have to uh, schedule a leak check, all that good stuff. Um, so, but yeah, this is the... Um, I think this is the worst... Uh, place I I have to service because I really do hate driving around where the aircraft are just because just because you never know man <clears throat> you never know I'd hate to be the one to get uh, you know in some sort of incident so Anyways, guys, like I said, just a quick little video. Um, <laughs> didn't really plan on it, but just, uh, like I said, just I thought I'd show you guys kind of what, what we got to do sometimes, so. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, gents, take it easy. We'll see you on the next call.